I want to take off this evening with an assignment. And um, this is premised on a lot of conviction. And um, it's also because I, I understand that um, I may be in Ogbomo sure, but there is a purpose for which I am in the body of Christ at this time. I was preserved for this day. You may not believe it. I was. All right. Two things I'm going to do. A few weeks ago, there was a video that many of you saw, a video that I had to instruct to be taken down. And I had to carry that action because what we sought to address could no longer be addressed. There was a perceived utterance that will have established a generation in error because of the weight of the followership that my brother um, had by the mercies of God. Now because I didn't mention his name before, if you don't know his name, you don't know his name, but my brother, and he's still my brother. Now, and um, because one of my assignments, apart as an expression of my apostolic labors, is to function as a custodian, one who will be held accountable for any error that survives into the body of Christ. I needed to make an urgent statement. However, on a second thought, I feel that my correction did not land well because of how it was done. It was a spiritual responsibility, but I want to submit that my emotions betrayed my assignment. I have about seven times called, reached out to my brother to apologize to him for that outburst. And I agreed with him that I was going to do it publicly because I was wrong to have presented this error that way. And I am doing this because even though this has finished between us, we're brothers, we're still brothers, and I know that we're going to do a lot more together in the body of Christ. There is a ripple effect based on the stature that God has bequeathed to each of us. There is already a passive fragmentation rapidly going on in the body of Christ that I must address. Because the aim was not to fracture the body. The aim was to ensure that something wrong did not find expression. So like I've said many times and like I we had a long discussion he's not in the country on um Friday night and it was a lot of apologies from me I want to say to my brother I am very sorry there are better ways to have carried out my assignment um, if there have been well yes there have been a lot of noise in the body of Christ also because people took sides with persons not with issues I also want to apologize that in carrying out my role I sent the wrong waves but I trust Jesus that in a lifetime like I agreed with my brother both of us we stand our grounds to ensure that nothing that is not of God finds expression in the body so I came to say I am sorry now during my delivery my brother actually was summoned to make a correction. We had many hours, we've had many hours of trying to go scripture by scripture to establish what is truth. And he's not here, but I celebrate the humility with which he has received my corrections. He has done a full sermon to preach. I mean, preached a full sermon to correct that 
or trance and carefully in scriptures lay it out like we studied together but people are wondering where that video is and this is where P. Daniel broke me immediately he saw after his service he saw that cut out of our video he has not had the privilege to listen fully to it maybe he will have been more comforted he instructed his media men to take down his own video because he did not want it to be on record that I spoke and he spoke against me and that's mind blowing for me we were both in tears on um, Friday night because I saw somebody that really honored me and um, that I didn't manage well so I've said it in secret but I'm saying it in the open we will do this assignment we will grow to perfect how to deliver it and I trust Jesus that in the future our emotions will be helmed in and would um, carry out our roles more accurately so in case you have been involved in any kind of noise online our labors are on the same platform to make sure that as God gives us more knowledge in his word we bring a balance not just to not just in utterance but in the mode of delivery so help us God amen all right what I just did is one of the most it's one of the easiest things I've done in a lifetime it's not under I'm not under any pressure to do what I'm doing it will have come out before but Peter Daniel was afraid that it will look like we have a fight and so um, the body of Christ will win um, but we will also come into perfection so that our deliveries will be as perfect as that of our master amen maybe one thing I need to add now for the house I'm beginning to understand that our callings are different and maybe I want to mention a few names that were part of all this process. First of all, I think I need to appreciate God for Reverend Austin Opore because he was deep into this thing. Um, okay, Pastor, but in a few days, Reverend Jonathan Oraka, um, he did a lot of work too. And um, Reverend Paul Olani was, was awesome was awesome when Baba called me I was like oh, you know it was a call to encourage and um, it was a, a call to help me establish my role in the body of Christ and how it has become needful to perfect delivery so that in trying to correct error I will not be guilty of correcting it erroneously and that's awesome um, Friday night phone calls were perfected by Pastor Sam Oduyebo. I've never met him physically but he took upon himself to put together, to call me and then we had a conference call myself, him and um, Peter Nell and that's why we're here today. So I trust the Lord that um, our labors will be sustained. Amen. <laughs>